fellow creations. If you're new to my channel and you're stopping by for the first time, thank you for stopping by. Welcome to my channel. Stick around a while by clicking that red button for more crafting on a budget, more everything on a budget videos to come. And if you click it again when the bell appears, YouTube should notify you every time I'm uploading a new video, depending on the option that you choose in the drop down menu of the bell. If you're interested in following me on social media, you can find those links mm -hmm, in the description box below. What have I got going on for you for today? Today's video is part one of two videos that I will be bringing to you because today Kayla and I were at the Dollar Tree. We went in there because I was needing some of the nautical rope for a DIY that I'm doing here at home and somehow I ran out of it. I didn't have any in my stash. And so we decided to head on over there, pick up a couple bunches of it. And to my surprise, I saw that they had just gotten a shipment in of fairy garden decor. And it wasn't a minimal amount at my Dollar Tree, it was a large amount. There were so many different pieces, little houses, arches, figurines, little tables and leaves and signs, gnomes, I mean, you name it, they had it. And this was at one of the smaller Dollar Trees in my area. And I was just really surprised to see all of the fairy garden items that they were rolling out and putting on their shelves. It was all so stinking cute, I couldn't resist it. It inspired me to finally do a fairy garden myself. Allie has been asking me for one for a couple of years now since the Dollar Tree started carrying some of their fairy garden items and I just hadn't done it. I wasn't feeling inspired and I know a couple years ago I told you all that I would probably be bringing you one. Okay, well, however many months later, I am inspired now, I'm feeling it, I have the fairy garden itch, and so today I'm gonna be showing you my fairy garden haul, if you will, of items that you can expect to be seeing in the next video, which will be me actually putting the fairy garden together. And so let's not waste any more time, let's jump into it and let me show you all of the fun pieces that I found at the Dollar Tree that you should definitely keep your eye open for if you're interested in doing a fairy garden or adding to one that you already have. And I will tell you that the fairy garden that I am starting is going to be a work in progress. And so as I see new pieces at the Dollar Tree, I'm definitely gonna add to it. But I think that I've already got a pretty good start and so I'm excited to bring you the next video. So stay tuned for that. But for now, let me show you all the goodies that I picked up for it. I'm gonna start off with some of the fairy houses that I found. This one here reminds me of the stalk or the stem of a flower and then up at the top of the house you've got the flowers themselves these bright pink and white flowers really bright and vibrant I'm loving the colors this green and peach house it reminds me of maybe a flower that hasn't quite bloomed yet but is getting ready to this carrot house stole my heart absolutely love this reminds me of something that you'd see at a Peter Rabbit it's got this cobblestone walkway, the wood door. I love these. I hope the Dollar Tree brings out more of them in different styles. Then we've got these, I want to say door fronts or the front of a house. These are really cute. They're not the full house themselves, but maybe something that can go up against a wall or just something that you're just seeing the face of. Found a mushroom one, just as bright and vibrant. Loving the look of these, different styles. On the back of these, they're not quite finished, so it's not something that you want people to see the back of. This is a fun one. Reminds me of a tree with the leaves on top. You've got the welcome that's written in the leaves, and we've got these brick pavers with the mushrooms on each side. Super cute. Also found this arch, and this kind of goes with this last house. Maybe something that you could put in the front of a walkway leading to this house. This is completely finished on both sides. Now, I'm not real sure of the correct fairy terminology when it comes to some of these items, but I'm gonna call this maybe the base or a platform to maybe a cute little house scenery. It's got this entryway here. I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with this, but I picked up two of them. It's got some decorative flowers here on the corners and the sides. Also found this round base 
platform type thing here. This looks like a cupcake or an ice cream sundae with the whipped cream and the sprinkles. And this too also has the entryway as well. These pavers, these are a candy paver, super stinking cute. Picked up a few of these. This is kind of a bummer, but it looks like an easy fix. It must have got broke in the bag. With just a bit of glue, it'll come together nicely. This is super cute. It goes with that last pink ice cream sundae type base. Not sure what I'm going to do with these, but I picked up a couple of these. And we've got these candy welcome sign figurine type things. Again, these look like they go with that ice cream sundae base. So I'm picking up a few of these, gonna do something fun with those. And how about these leave chairs and the table? This is such a cute stinking set. Love it, picked up two of these and these little garden insects and animals. We've got this adorable snail. How cute is that? An owl and a turtle with a frog sitting on it. Picked up a couple sets of these fairies just to place here and there. These are fairies that are standing that look like they're eating ice cream or lollipops. Also found these fairies that are sitting down, a couple of them reading a book. I really like little pieces like this because they're just decorative pieces that you can add here and there. We've got two welcome signs and a lamp post. I think I picked up four packs of these. And of course, I had to pick up these gnomes that are eating the lollipops and ice cream that are definitely gonna go with that ice cream sundae. And lastly, I picked up a few sets of these mushrooms because these are perfect just to add along a walkway leading up to a house or right next to a fairy that might be sitting down reading her book. I think I got a lot and I spent just about under $20 on all of these pieces, which I think is pretty budget friendly. When I've been at Hobby Lobby or Michael's or even Joann's and you see some of the fairy garden decor pieces, I mean, they range from, you know, just a couple of dollars on up. And so I think that if there are pieces that I want to buy from those stores, maybe I will, but I'm going to try really hard just to keep this fairy garden all Dollar Tree fairy item decor pieces so I can show you just how cute you can make a fairy garden using the Dollar Tree items and you don't have to spend a ton of money. And so make sure to stay tuned for the next video where I actually put it together and I show you some of the pieces and items that I will be incorporating into it. But for now, please make sure to give this video a thumbs up and let's get this video to 5,000 likes because like I always say, each and every one of your thumbs up and those comments that you leave down below, they really do help my channel to grow and it helps YouTube to notice me just a bit more. Until next time, everybody, I hope you have a fantastic day. Happy crafting on a budget, and bye for now, everybody.